Hola, welcome. This is Dino Delano. Today we are going to cover in detail the anatomy of a belief. And I promise you that by the time we finish this video, you will understand in detail how your beliefs create your reality. And I will also give you techniques and methods that you can use to begin to direct your life in the direction that you want to go. Belief equals feelings equals emotions equals action. Now I know a lot of times people feel and they say, no, this is how I feel. This is not what I believe. This has got nothing to do with belief. Oftentimes we have forgotten where the beliefs come from that generate our feelings. Let's create a story and let's call him Little Jimmy. Little Jimmy is maybe three, four years of age, and he's at that point in time, you know, living with his parents. Who he takes everything in. He doesn't have a critical mind yet. He can't say, you know, I think this is nonsense. But anyway, his parents, his father particularly, believes that Mexicans are not that great of people in that sense. He feel, And the reason he feels that way is because he feels that they're taking from him. They're taking from social services. They're stealing jobs. They're coming across, you know, the fence, across the Rio Grande, and so on. So he has a lot of feelings and emotion about these people. In fact, sometimes he bangs on the kitchen table, and little Jimmy gets to hear all of this. Well, by the time little Jimmy is 15, 20 years of age, guess what? He also not only has the same beliefs as his father, but he also has the same attitude and the same feelings, and he'll tell you, you know, this is how I feel, and I feel this way. This is, you know, I feel like they're taking from us. They're stealing money out of our pockets and so on. Now, he has forgotten that those beliefs were something that he got as he was growing up. He has also forgotten that his attitudes and the way that he thinks is also because of the beliefs and downloads that he got while he was growing up. Now, in the process, he might meet a Mexican girl or some Mexican friends that he'd be friends. And over a period of time, months, maybe even years, he changes his mind. But all too often, that is not the case. Belief is our foundation. It is like the foundation holding up our house, our house of experience in the world in that sense. What happens if you change the foundation? Well, let's create another little story. and Let's call this one John. John is about to retire. And in the process, he's around 58, and he's starting to slow down, and he feels like, you know, my life is coming to an end. But, it, you know, it hasn't been all that bad, and things have been, you know, fairly good. But I'm starting to slow down now, and those are his thoughts and ideas. But he thinks, you know, maybe if I do a little exercise or I do a little this, Maybe I can develop more vitality. In the process, he gets on the Internet. And he starts doing some research of vitality and long longevity and discovers a country in East Pakistan by the name of Hunza. And he discovers that in this small country of 20-some thousand people, most live over 100 years of age. Not only that, though, the men are still doing very strong, powerful movements and sports in their 90s. Women are having children in their 60s. Men are fathering them in their 70s and 80s. And many people live to be 110, 115, and 120. But they live very dynamic health and also with mental dexterity. This excites them. In the process of the research that he is doing, he doesn't realize that not only is he changing his beliefs, but he's also changing his feelings. Those feelings are changing his, what, emotions, and those emotions are getting him to take other actions. In the process, he begins to study Tai Chi, or maybe yoga, or he goes to a gym. He also changes his diet. He loses 30-some pounds. He now has dropped the pharmaceuticals that he was taking for high blood pressure. Relatives and friends are saying, John, what have you done to yourself? Wow, you look 10 to 15 years younger than, than your age. And not only does he look 10 to 15 years younger, in fact, John feels 10 to 15 years younger. 
Conversely, his friend George, who's also 58 and reaching retirement age, he begins to, you know, same kind of feelings in a way. He feels, you know, there's some things I wished I had accomplished, but now I'm reaching 60. It's a little late for me to accomplish some of the things I'd like to do. I'm really going downhill, and I might get to live to 72 and 75, you know, because those are the cultural beliefs, aren't they? Yes. And sure enough, he follows those beliefs. He begins to watch more television. Yes, yeah, sometimes he takes the grandkids out, but he doesn't seem to have the energy and the vitality that he used to have. And in fact, this is what happens to him. Sure enough, maybe he dies at 72 or 75 or whatever. He doesn't realize that just like John, he had a choice. He could have totally taken a completely different road. You see, a belief is a download, and that download moves our feelings, our emotions, and our actions. But many of the beliefs that we have were downloads of information that are dysfunctional. In other words, they don't get you the relationship that you want. They don't get you the prosperity and the abundance and the joy of life that you would like to have. Belief powers your emotions. A better way of saying it, really, is that beliefs power your motivation. Belief is power, pulling the wagon of feelings and emotions behind you. Within every feeling and experience that we have, there is indeed a belief behind it. Belief determines your health, your vitality, and your longevity. All right, how do we do it? How do we change? We said that you always, I always, have a choice. Choice is always ours at every moment in time. Well, it's not always easy. And that, you know, I want to bring that up because a lot of New Age gurus are going to tell you, you know, just do a few affirmations, do a little visualization, and things will just magically change and will be all beautiful and wonderful. Honestly, it's not like that. Now, some things will be easy. You know, some things will just sort of snap into place as you change your thinking in your mind. But some things, which sometimes are very deep, structured beliefs and attitudes about relationships, or maybe about money, or values, or various things in life, those things will take a little bit longer. Sometimes it's kind of like learning to play a new instrument. You know, maybe like playing to learn the guitar. If you've looked at sheet music and you've never played an instrument before, that's like learning a new language. Well, when we change our behaviors, oftentimes it's like learning an old language. But if you persist with right knowledge, you can develop whatever you want. Now, what do I mean by right knowledge? Let's imagine that you're in a city you've never been in before, and you stop and you ask somebody directions to a particular street that you're trying to get to, and half an hour later you discover you still haven't found it because that person gave you inaccurate information. That's what's happened to a lot of us. A lot of the beliefs that we have gotten from our parents, from the people around us, from clergy, so on, was dysfunctional information that does not lead us to the path of joy, prosperity, well-being, loving relationships, and so on. With right knowledge, you can begin to take the steps to bring you to where you want to go. The book, Discover the Magic in You, has been developed in over 38 years of experience with thousands of people internationally with techniques and methods that will take you step by step by step, leading you in the direction that you want to go. So when we finish this video, go to coolzenhealing.com and click on the book Discover the Magic in You and learn a little bit more. It can give you the the techniques and methods that will help you move in the direction and that help you create the life that you would like to have. All right, this is Dean Odalama. Thanks for being with me. Take care.